Number three, reduce extraneous ambiguity. Reduce the confusion. Again, it's the ambiguity overwhelm that's stuttering up the pure cognitive linguistic processing that we were talking about in Brain's Challenge, and also which is leading to this downward spiral of shame. We've got to reduce the amount of confusion they're floating in, they're overwhelmed by. In order to do that, we have to sync up with them. Rather than being a robotic protocol, an extension of some protocol in a robotic way, we need to learn as teachers and parents and anybody who's working with a struggling reader to get right alongside their mind as their mind is stuttering in this confusion. There's a way to do that. When, <clears throat> whenever, we hear, whenever we hear a reader starting, stopping, hesitating in the flow of their articulation in, in trying to read, there's a one-to-one -one correspondence between those start, stop hesitations, those stutters of mind, if you will, and a location in the code their brain's trying to work the ambiguity out of. And the better that you understand that as an educator, as somebody who's trying to help them through, the better that you can, as you hear that stutter, know exactly in the code where their brain stutter is happening, where they're overwhelmed with confusion, the better that you can target strategies that are going to meet them on the edge of what they need. Remember, in general, in general terms, learning is best when we vivify the edge of participation and give feedback about that participation to the learner. Right? Vivify, feedback. So, so in that sense, <clears throat> and this comes to another thing at a general orientation level that we can do, another point is isolate and vivify the errors. In other words, we actually want to strategically, tactically, pedagogically, we want to um, drive children into the area they're having trouble so that they're having this repeated experience of this error and give them feedback right on the edge of that repeated experience of the error so that they can correct it. The longer it takes for them to be to get feedback about what's working and not working and what they're doing the more confusing this process is feedback is a key to learning and one of the problems with reading unlike so many other things that children do is the feedback is out of sync with the activity it's too far out so turn those stutters into feedback that's that's the point the more feedback they get on the stuttering edge of what they're doing the better.